1940, there was a man in Indiana, who at the age of 65, decided to make a change in his life and the society with a wonderful fried chicken recipe. His name was Colonel Harland David Sanders. Sanders was born in 1890, in Henryville, Indiana. His father died when he was six. His mother went to work in a local tomato canning factory. Meanwhile, Sanders who was the eldest, was forced to take care of the home and his family. During this time he started to develop his cooking skills. When he was 12, his mother remarried. His relationship with the new stepfather was strained. Soon he left the home. He got a job in a farm, where he had to feed animals and do odd jobs. During this time, he was balancing his farm work with a full-time education. He dropped out of school, after completing 6th grade. Over the next 28 years, he took on an incredible number of different jobs across the country. He worked a short period in the U.S. Army, as well as working as a streetcar conductor, an insurance salesman, a railroad fireman, a ferry operator, a secretary, and a lawyer. As he left his youth and entered middle age, it became increasingly likely that Sanders would never achieve the success his hard work demanded. Still he continued to try his luck in different fields. In 1930, he became a franchise of Shell Oil Company Gasoline Station. To improve the sales in the gasoline station, he began to sell chicken dishes, steak, ham, and other comfort food to his customers. In 1935, the governor of Kentucky, bestowed Harlan Sanders, the title of colonel in recognition of his contributions to the state's cuisine. The Sanders restaurant was popular, with travelers on their way to Florida through the town of Corbin, Kentucky. But that fortune didn't last long. Bad luck struck him, as the highway junction situated in front of his restaurant, was moved to another location and a new interstate highway was to be built, on a location which bypassed his gasoline station by seven miles. He sensed the end was near. He sold all the properties at a loss. He started living off with $105, of monthly social security check as his only income. But he was not ready to settle for a quiet retirement life. He decided to franchise his secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. At the age of 65, he began traveling across the country, cooking along the way, determined to franchise his fried chicken recipe. He heard 1,009 no's before he could hear a yes. The deal was that for each piece of chicken sold, he could get a nickel. By 1964, he had 600 franchises, selling his trademark chicken. In 1976, Colonel Sanders was ranked as the world's second most recognizable celebrity. It is amazing how a man started at the age of 65, build a global empire out of fried chicken, with hard work, and persistence. His life teaches us that it is never too late to find success in life.